Hello, darlings! Today in Thailand, we're showing you a breakfast buffet which serves veggie yakisoba, tom yum fried rice, steamy barbecue pork buns, so pillowy, looks like clouds. This video is sponsored by Marriott Resort of Phuket's Merlin Beach. There are no talking points and all opinions are mine. For filming purposes, we wake up around 6.20 in the morning. Gotta grab a table with lots of natural lighting and shoot before the crowds flock in. Let's find out what else there is to eat. Oh my, it's shumai. And its cousin next door has a green exterior. Poha, Indian flattened rice. We also have potato curry. There's a noodle station where a gentleman heats up your selection. Fill up your bowl with vegetables and protein balls made of either chicken, pork, beef, or fish. Hand it over and let the magician do his thing. I feel like I'm waiting at a street food stall and watching the goodies be made right in front of me. Once you get your noodles, feel free to add in fish sauce and more. As for me, fried garlic. Mm -hmm. These eggs are cooked in perfect circles thanks to the stencil. Grilled tomato with pesto, mini quiches of mushroom and onion, fried fish with capers, chicken sausages, wok fried mixed veggies, baked beans, sautéed mushroom, sautéed potato, gravlo salmon, salami, gruyere cheese, emmental cheese, blue cheese, brie, croissant, raisin muffin, banana cakes, buns with sesame seeds, chocolate bread. For those craving fresh veggies, come on over to the salad bar. Sliced cabbage, lettuce, and pepper await. Top it off with dressing, crispy bacon, and garlic crouton. Meet my loot. I decided not to pig out as I like to practice mindful eating. Moderation is happiness. That's not to say I'll always be doing things with perfect balance, but I'll do my best. What should we try first? Shumai. The savory on the mild side. Now the green one. Is it the same flavor and just a different color or is it a different flavor? Mmm, that one seems to have beef in it. This is our sixth day here. Usually in the morning for the breakfast buffet, I'd get broccoli, um, mushroom, and other vegetables. Today I want to give you a more extensive food review. So I got all kinds of goodies on here. Ooh, it must be pork. All right, so the exterior skin is a little fluffy. It's quite thick. Well, actually, the bread part is delicately sweet. The majority of the flavor power comes from the filling. It's more sweet than savory. Mamio finished round one and is reading. What I really enjoyed the other day was the quiche. You know, some foods are time sensitive, and when you eat in humid climate, it's even more time sensitive. The other day when I had this, the exterior was a little bit more crunchy, but today it looks like the moisture and the air beat me to it. It's a bit softened. So we're sitting outside next to the pool. You know, it doesn't look too early considering how much light is out, but it is uh, about 7 a.m. Pesto sauce chillaxes on the half tomato as a pool of olive oil gathers. And I'm gonna cut to more manageable bits. What was your favorite thing you ate this morning so far? Uh, omelette, the vegetarian omelette. Do you like it because of the nutrition or because of the flavor? Because, you know, the foam shape looks like croissant. Mamio likes the omelette because it looks like a croissant. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Next, let's try the fried fish with capers. So the outside is a bit crispy. And it's oily. And how some fish, when you bite into it, just like breaks apart in a very smooth way. But what's got that? It's a bit of a comfort food. Reminds me of fish and chips. We shall now cut the perfectly circular egg. Oh, yeah, that's runny. Look at that. Ooh, I want to have it over quinoa and just let it drip on there. One of the challenges of food vlogging is using only one hand to cut things. It's pretty standard. Mmm, I picked up a little onion on the way on that egg, so it added on to the flavor and made it extra special. So I believe this is called the poha, and I also believe it's Indian. Ooh, that's spicy. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think the spiciness is coming from those black little seeds. Little pops of spiciness there. Okay, I'm starting to wake up now. On to the noodles. There were white noodles and yellow noodles, egg noodles, but I decided to go with the green one because it's so different. It's like, whoa, what is that? Is that alien food? 
It was so warm. Although they cooked it like 20 minutes ago. The noodles are very soft, far from al dente. Senior citizen friendly, great on the teeth. And here we have a beef ball. There's a very subtle crunch to it. It's a bit slippery. The soup itself doesn't have much flavor. The flavor comes from the toppings you put on there. What's up? I've been getting coconut every day in Phuket, and I would like to continue that trend until the end of the Thailand trip. And look, behind this coconut, there is a butthole. That's kind of cute, actually. Every time you have a coconut, it's not the same. Some coconut is sweet, others a little bit more shy. They're uh, uh, introverted sweet. And this one's a bit more on the introverted side. <sighs> but tasty nonetheless. So refreshing, especially in this humid weather. Oh, and look at the meat in that. Nice, white, and thick. Sometimes coconut meat can be a little purple and uh, very thin and translucent but this one's solid 100% opacity <laughs> you know what I would be happy just to have a coconut buffet just drink as many baby coconuts and have coconut cake uh, coconut pancake anything with the coconuts their coffee is very good why does it taste good strong ah oh, strong now it is time to get dessert oh the chocolate croissant here oh and it's fresh it's like ooh. I want some more of that. Feeling fruity? Perhaps you'd like some jackfruit or zigzagged papaya. Have you tried rambutan before? They look so crazy, I like it. I have a life-changing question for you. What is your favorite cereal? And what kind of milk do you eat with it? Honeycomb hangs as sweet goodness slowly drips into a bowl. Now this is what you call slow food, because you're going to have to wait. Oh, it's going to be so yummy. Various toppings for yogurt. Or if you just want a snack. Dijer. You got Dijer? <laughs> Looks like you got three Kese. kinds of ice cream. On the bottom, there's yogurt. Got myself banana bread and bon au chocolat. Meet my ice cream flavors. Thai tea, coconut, and chocolate. Witness how the melted ice cream flows over the icy bits. The movement reminds me of water falling from rocks. Every morning here, I've been having yogurt with nuts. Nuts, nuts. Because the ice cream is melting, uh, let's have that first. Let's get a taste of the coconut ice cream. Sweet enough to put a smile on your face, but also not too sweet where you're like, you feel like parched and there's a desert in your mouth. Let's try the Thai iced tea. You know the flavor of Thai iced tea? Yeah, it's got that. You know, some ice cream flavors, they say like, they mention a fruit or some sort of star ingredient, but you don't taste it. You know, that makes me sad. But this one, it tastes like what is the name. Now, let's try the chocolate. Oh, as you can see behind me, more and more people flocking in again. That one's thicker. It has a little bit of a texture of gelato. And the coconut ice cream, it just melts in your mouth. Yeah, different texture. The chocolate ice cream, it feels like all those particles are holding onto their hands tighter compared to the other flavors. The chocolate pastry looks like it's sticking out two tongues. <laughs> I highly recommend you try this when it's fresh out of the kitchen. Because this time, the humidity has beat me to it. The banana bread is quite speckled and appears to contain walnut. Now this one tastes more tropical because it's a little bit of a banana flavor. Definitely. <sighs> Bring in your nose when you eat this. It smells beautiful. More beautiful than the flavor, than the taste. Due to the warm weather, the ice cream has melted in 100 blinks. I wonder what the triple blend will taste like. It's a little confusing because there's so much going on in there. It's actually pretty good because it tastes sweet. Identity crisis ice cream. Happy identity crisis though, to be exact. Sweet identity crisis. I'm gonna do something that Mamiyo loves to do. Dip the bread in ice cream. It's Mamiyo's favorite dessert combo. Oh! My chin is having an identity crisis. Now this is plain yogurt. This is something that I eat almost every day in America. Plain yogurt, Greek yogurt to be exact, with some honey. Uh, there are periods where I just have only the plain yogurt without any additional toppings. But these days, I do the honey. I think you're gonna finish that book today. Yeah. 
8.06 a.m. That's a floating coconut as my screensaver. By the way, there's a coffee and tea station outside with full fat milk and low fat milk. You can also order waffles. Hope you guys enjoyed eating breakfast with us. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. To relax at night, listen to ASMR Bedtime with Miss Mina. We read, crunch, crinkle, and more. In the sunset's cold. Toodles, my noodles. I woke up early to film this buffet video. After we eat, I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm sleepy. I'm like sleep vlogging. <laughs> sleep eating and sleep vlogging. When we first got here at 6.30, there's already people. I was thinking, oh, it's so early. It can't be that many people. We won't be the first there. Thing is, people are going on trips. Uh, some people are going on day trips to the islands today, and they might get picked up at like 7, 7.20. So they come here early to eat. Mm, where'd you come from? It's the first time this week seeing a cat here. If you go towards the east, where Phuket town is, there's a lot more cats lying around, and because it's so warm here, they're just lounging and just spread out. Normally, we eat inside the restaurant where there's AC, but for the purposes of filming and getting a lot of natural lighting and make the food look extra tasty, outside next to the pool. And behind those palm trees, we have the Merlin Beach. In the evening, the tides go out into the ocean, so it reveals a reef. I noticed a lot of people are gone now. So they must be uh, getting ready for the day trip. Another group will come after you know, they have slept enough. Mm. There are a couple peak hours waves. First wave is 6.30 for people going on day trips. If you want a little bit more space and a little bit more serene breakfast experience, come around 7.30. Because around 8 and 9, that's when the second wave comes. We nearly have a whole place to ourselves. There's one more family all the way on the left. Part of our table decoration includes this cute plant. It looks like spreading its arms open, many arms open. I used to film mukbang and overeat, and sometimes I eat more than enough when filming. Uh, I'm trying to practice mindful eating, so not eating everything if I'm full. That's the reason why I'm not getting like four plates of different food. Just getting a combo of what I personally like to eat and what you guys might be interested in seeing. This coconut looks like it's been through a couple battles. Looks like it has a little bit of wounds. But it's okay. I got some wounds too from Muay Thai yesterday. We're on the other side of the pool. That is where we had breakfast. The bridge. And then the path, is a path here that leads to the other bridge. Thank you so much for watching and leave a banana emoji if you made it this far. You're part of the club.